Virginia, the state that doesn't know what it is. As a resident of Virginia, and more specifically Western Virginia, this state is um a bit problematic, at least I can say. First of all, you got your conservatives in the western part, and you have your liberals in the eastern part. And with your leftists, you got us scattered about the place, such as me here in the western part, and you got some in the eastern. The issue with being a leftist anywhere in western Virginia is that you don't stand a chance doing anything, at least where I am. Because Virginia is like the home to like so much Confederate stuff, monuments, history, Robert E. Lee, Stonewall Jackson, that it's just, it is tough. I will say that to be a leftist here and try and convince other people. And when it comes to election stuff, nobody cares out in the western part because everybody gets their Republicans up in the office no matter what. Like, I, I have a I have a person for you. Uh, ben Klein, he's my representative and I hate his guts. He endorsed Nick Friedis, I think that's his name, who claims to be a libertarian and not a bigot, but he's pretty transphobic, bigoted, racist. He, he's an all-around bad guy, and he endorsed him. And so, you know, I don't really care about Ben Klein at all. I'm not lashing out specifically him, and that's not what this video is about. Not at all. I am taking the opportunity, though, to talk about him, because I hate him. The only good thing that he has ever done for us is, like, some infrastructure stuff. And with the roads, that's about it. That That's pretty much it. <laughs> But anywho, back to the bigotry of this state, um, just, I guess the whole state's like this, but just think of, like, most of the western part, and then the conservatives in the eastern part, they're bigoted. It's just so bigoted in this state. <laughs> because of the simple fact that this is a confederate home, basically, there are so many neo-confederates, so many supporters of the confederacy, so many states' rights people, and, like... This is heritage, not hate stuff. I hate it. <laughs> then you have people around here that'll say the N-word, and they'll be white, and they'll go, no, it's not racist. No, the word means, the word means trash. And that's their excuse. Like, what? <laughs> and then when it comes to, um, transphobia around here, you got, there's pretty much nowhere to go. Like, you have to get a specific, like, gender therapist if you want anything to do with, like, HRT or, like, um, surgery. But even then, like, it's so risky because of this state. <laughs> Where I am is trash. I can't explain to you enough about how much I hate where I am. I would say where, but it would give so much away. One thing I will say is that our school, the school I went to... Um, and am going to, but now online, is that you got so many, like, you got the bullies, of course, you have the unapologetic racist, the unapologetic just bigots in general, and when it comes to the liberals at school, they don't care what I have to say. There's only, like, the most known communists at our school are me and my friend. <laughs> also, speaking of me at the school, I'm not out to anybody. There are a few ex-friends that know about it, about me being trans, and I frankly hate their guts too. Uh, if you see that, if they're seeing this video, just know that. I don't have any, I don't care. That's pretty much all I had to say. I know this is a weird video. It's not like my other political videos where it's a script or anything. But I just wanted to give my takes on Virginia because I don't like Virginia. <laughs> I will give a quick shout out to, like, the protesters that have done good over, like, in Richmond area. And, like, around the coast. Uh, mad props to you. 
you have done a good job. Um, and I think that's about it. Also, remember where the term rednecks came from. Striking union workers. Let's go. Okay. Um, ACAB, Black Lives Matter. Goodbye, yeah.